Good afternoon. Jill here with Hillbilly Jelly's Garden and Canning. We are getting ready to do our pickled watermelons. I have three very nice size uh, personal watermelons here and we are going to weigh them. See what we get. This is about a four and a half, well no, about a four and a quarter pounder here. About the same on this one. And about the same on this one. These are personal size uh, yellow meated watermelons. They are, I believe, moonbeam early watermelons. So we are getting ready to do our pickling. How beautiful these are. Look at all those seeds. Those are seeds that we'll harvest to grow next year. Look how beautiful that watermelon is. Okay, we have seeded our first watermelon here. We are saving the juices because the recipe calls for us to. You'll see some seeds in there. I'll strain those out. We'll keep the juices for when the time is right for our recipe. We have about uh, two and a half of the watermelons cut up. As you can see, they're yellow meat, but I want you to look at these seeds. The recipe do does call that uh, we save the juice, so we're going to uh, strain the seeds in this juice out. Um, I'm gonna have to double the recipe. I believe that it said it would take uh, one three and a half pound personal size watermelon, uh, which would generate about two and a quarter pounds of meat. We have about five pounds of meat here that we're gonna use, so I'm gonna double up on the recipe. So look at these seeds. This is the difference between a GMO and an heirloom watermelon. Look at that. Hundreds and hundreds of seeds that we're gonna be able to harvest and use next year for our garden. We have about five pounds of watermelon chunks here. Again, I've doubled the recipe. Um, the recipe made for about uh, two and a half pounds. So we have added uh, four teaspoons of salt and we are to cover this and let it sit for two hours. Check back with you later. It's been two hours since we let our watermelon and salt rest. So now we have combined all of our spices to get ready. We have uh, one and a half cups of cider vinegar. We have one and a half cups of sugar. We have uh, two cinnamon sticks, two bay leaves, two pinches of fennel seeds, two pinches of coriander seeds, four allspice berries, and six black peppercorns. And this is what's gonna make up our pickled watermelon. So let's get started. We were able to get um, two cups of watermelon juice out of this and out of uh, when we were seeding the watermelon. So we're going to add this to our mixture in here. And then we are going to add all of our spices. And we're going to bring this to a simmer. We're going to bring this um, up to a small simmer on medium heat. We want to make sure that the sugar dissolves, and then we're going to add our watermelon pieces. We have simmered this over medium heat until the sugar has dissolved, and now we're going to get ready to add our watermelon pieces. Watermelon pieces are added. We're going to bring this up to a bowl, and then we're going to simmer it for 10 minutes. After that, we'll ladle it into our pints, and we're going to uh, hot water can it for about 10 minutes. i got to tell you, this smells amazing, absolutely amazing, so I can't wait to see how these turn out. Okay, we got it up to a bowl here. We're going to let it boil just a couple of seconds more, and then we're going to reduce the heat and let it simmer for 10 minutes. Wow, this has simmered for more than 10 minutes. I can tell you it smells quite delicious. I'm not sure that I've ever smelled anything more savory 
and uh, sweet and all my life we're gonna ladle them into our sterilized jars here and then we are going to water can hot water can bath them for 10 minutes here they are all ready to go we're gonna put them in the uh, water can bath for 10 minutes Here is the finished product here. We have our canned pickled watermelon. We're excited to try them out and we'll let you know how they are. Take care, God bless. If you like our channel, please subscribe. Have a great weekend.